what is up everybody so i'm back with another video um things i hate about the focus st i'm not going to put a specific number on it just because i'll probably think of things as i go along so uh the number one thing i would have to, has to be number one would be the uh turning radius turning radius is absolutely abysmal in this car um where i live it's not it's not a huge problem but uh, I've run into a couple scenarios where a smaller turning radius would have been more uh, adequate for the situation. Uh, for those that don't know, the turning radius in this car is almost 40 feet. It's 39 point something feet. That's a bigger turning radius than a Mustang. Um, and the, uh, the RS is even worse to my knowledge because they have uh, 19 inch wheels uh, coupled with, I believe, the same steering setup. So the Focus RS actually has a larger turning radius. Um, number two would be no option for an LSD from the factory. For those that don't know, an LSD is a limited slip differential. Um, you can get these aftermarket for about a thousand dollars, a little bit more than that, uh, if you can install it yourself. If you can't install it yourself, you're going to be shelling out a little bit more. But there should be an option to get one from the factory. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense to me because torque steer is a known issue in this car. Um, third thing would be torque steer. Uh, it's, it's not super bad once you learn how to kind of handle the torque steer and everything. And if you're not, you know, launching the car all the time, then torque steer is not going to be a huge problem for you. Um, it's not a super difficult thing to manage, especially when you learn, you know, roughly what you can and can't do to mitigate, you know, torque steer. Number four would have to be the exhaust from the factory. Um, it is way too quiet. It, it, you know, being a sport car, an, an enthusiast car, if you will, and, uh, you know, having the packages that it has and, you know, being a sporty car, you would think it would either not have a resonator or not have a muffler, but it has both of those. And obviously you can fix this with an aftermarket exhaust, but I think it should come probably with no muffler from the factory. Uh, and maybe just, I don't know, a bigger resonator or something. I don't know, just something. It, it is way too quiet stock, and I just don't necessarily care for it. Um, fifth, sixth, whatever number I'm on. Um, I don't necessarily like that there's strict guidelines for the packages. ST1, ST2, ST3. Most cars out there, you can, you can pick and choose things that you want on the car and it doesn't have to be like take the uh take, take the ford escape for example you have the escape s the escape se the escape sel the escape titanium and uh i don't believe there's an escape sport but the edge has all of those packages and an edge sport i think you should be able to kind of do that with the st it's not as popular of a car simply because people don't drive stick as much as they used to but um I really think that you should be able to pick, you know, if you want full leather Recaros in your ST1, I think that should be an option. You should be able to get a full leather interior in the ST1. Everything else is not, you know, it's not a huge deal for me. Like I don't mind the stock seats and I, I just went on a road trip with Reese uh, Saturday. We went to Caffeine and Octane and the, the Recaros for me aren't a big deal. I would like to have them but uh it's not a huge issue you know again you can aftermarket them but you're gonna be looking at about a thousand dollars for both seats which is relatively cheap if you get them used the thing i hate about the focus st not necessarily just the focus st this includes the fiesta st and it's not specifically limited to the car um is the fanboys of the focus and fiesta st I don't like that so many people think this car is capable of things that it is not capable of. Obviously, if you dump X amount of money into it, it can do things that you claim it can do. But, you know, you see the shirts all the time. People talk about like banging gears and dusting muscle cars. This car is not going to do that. It is not going to do that. Um, and it just irritates me to hear people say that, you know, well, I drive a Focus ST, so whatever. That's not... At the end of the day, it's a Focus. It's it's a KO3 turbocharged, two liter, front wheel drive Focus. It is not a drag monster. It's obviously not gonna drift being front wheel drive. And out of just people getting in their feelings about, you know, people ragging on the Focus is ridiculous. 
because 99% of the time what people say about the Focus is true. Most people know exactly what the Focus is capable of and uh, those that don't are just being ignorant and uh, they should just learn to accept the fact that they bought a Focus, they didn't buy a McLaren, like, <laughs> or, you know, a Corvette. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, other things I hate about the Focus would uh, have to be the fuel tank. I do not like the stock fuel tank. It's 12 gallons, 12.1 gallons. Um, I feel like they could have gone a little bit bigger. Um, it's not, you know, obviously your projected miles per gallon is not gonna be uh, as good as it actually says it is. I think when I bought the car, it was advertised at like 20, I wanna say like 22, no, like 25 city and like 30 something highway. And I rarely get that. Even when the car was stock, I rarely got that. Um, that's not a big deal. Like if you're super concerned about miles per gallon, don't be driving a car that can, you know, go fast, <laughs> stick to stick to a slower car. Um, but yeah, it's just something that's gotta be mentioned. The fuel tank, it could be bigger. I don't really have an issue with it, but there are people that have issues with the fuel tank. Um, the other issue I have is the interior. Um, obviously not, not just limited to the seats, but everything, um, everywhere in the car, you have like, um, like a squishy leather type feel, but then you have the door handles and the uh, chrome pieces on the door handles and, and it's fake chrome, which a lot of cars do it, but the quality of the fake chrome, that sounds dumb. Like it should be quality, but it scratches super easy. I've seen it peel on people super easy. Mine hasn't peeled yet. Thank God but uh, just the, the build quality of the interior could have been better. Um, a lot of people are having premature wear on steering wheels. The Reese's RS has premature wear on the steering wheels. Mine just has dirt on it. It's just, I have dirty hands like constantly. I think that would, uh, that would have to do it. Um, any other questions you guys have, put them in the comments. I love reading your guys' comments. Um, no matter how ridiculous some of them are, a lot of them actually make me laugh, but um, if you guys enjoyed this upload and you are stopping by for the first time, please subscribe and join us for the next one.